What's up guys, this is Crypt Keeper on Hard, done Naps, No Lives Lost, and No Selling. It was actually a lot more difficult than I thought. This map is really difficult. It's like the second hardest, I would say, a uh, non-extreme map, like fourth hardest in the game. Um, I thought this was going to be a lot easier. You know, I heard it's hard, this is the first time playing it for real, and it's really an expert map. I think most people say that, but it's like way harder than most of the expert maps. I thought like Death Valley was the second hardest map or something. No, this one is actually the second hardest. I mean, it's possible to do Naps Frills um, on both like non-reverse and reverse mode, but I couldn't do it. I attempted it. I'm, I'm not that good at this game, you know that? It's just too difficult. So I just cheated, yeah, cheating, using farms. I guess that's cheating. Um, it gives you a bunch of money, man. How's that fair, right? It's like, if this was real life, you can't just like buy a bank and it gives you a bunch of money. That's not how it works, right? So yeah, I just farmed. Um, I decided to do it no selling though, make it more of a challenge. I really didn't need that. It still took me way too long to do this. Um, but I did look up uh, Incognito's uh, Naps Frills video because I was like, wow, this is way harder than I thought it was. Is this even possible? Well, I knew it was possible, but I want to see how he did it. Turns out you just, uh, you get a monkey sub super early, so the 2-3 monk, not 2-3, two, 2-2 two, two monkey sub, and then the ninja in front, those are just, like, super good, I guess. That's how you do it. Um, but I decided to change things up. I just went with, uh, dart monkeys to start, you know? Pure dart monkeys. Those guys don't get used enough, you know? People think, oh, they're just for the very early game, so I'll just skip ahead and not use them. But no, you gotta use them. Well, you don't have to, but if you want to farm really well, you can use them. They're good. Especially since there's no good place for, a, like, a sub-start or something. And, yeah, so that's how it went with this map. Strategy-wise, just spam a whole bunch of, uh, subs, yeah. I guess this map has, like, the most, uh, exits out of any other map, because it, it gives one, and then it splits into two, and then those split into five each. So, technically, like, one balloon can go ten different paths, which is pretty crazy, because that's even more than, like, tar pits and stuff. So that's no fun. Um, there's not really a good place for a spike factory, really. Um, and the only good place for towers seemed to be right at the front. So I just really crowded that place up. If needed, though, I did use road spikes. Um, and I also had the dart monkeys 2-0 near the back so that the subs can hit pretty much anything. I said that already, didn't I? Oh, well, I don't care. Anyway, I didn't even farm that much. So I decided to stop after getting the four 2 farms because I was like, you know what, if I'm not doing any selling, I should be good anyways because um, I have plenty of money. Those uh, four farms actually gave a lot more money than I thought, you know? Um, so that's good. The Moab is actually super easy. I think the subs are just so good against Moabs. I don't know what it is, but they just are. The only problem uh, was ceramics and stuff, and then I just got a 4 2 cannon for that. That's no big deal. Um, the late game wasn't too difficult. Like, farms late game, you know, they just make it super easy, so there's no problem at all. That being said, I'm pretty sure I still lost, so what does that say about my skill? I honestly, like, I, I could have spent a ton of time if I wanted to trying to nasp frill this, and I don't think I would have been able to. It's just, like, so, like, pinpoint positioning and targeting and all that stuff that if you, like, make one mistake, I feel like it's not possible. You know, it's crazy. I don't know how many strategies would actually work to nasp frills this, but I imagine there's really just going to be, like, one, and that's pretty much it. Um, I was gonna attempt, like, you know, down the drain Naps Frills on reverse or something. Yeah, I changed my mind about that. This was way harder than it should have been for me. Um, even with farms, I still had to save some. So, that was no good. I'm just not good at this game, man. I wish I was better. Like, DCs and stuff, I've just been sucking at. I've been attempting a lot of them, not even beating, like, the majority of them. So, that's sad. And the people on the forums, you know, they're so good at DCs nowadays. It's like, oh, this was easy. Oh, really? Well, I, I just lost. I, like, died five times trying to beat it. Does that make it super easy? Well, not for me, right? Or something. I don't know what I'm saying, man. This is terrible. Um, so what else is there about this game? The Spike Factories, you know, those are really good. Um, plus Arctic Wind. I think that's, like, a really good combo because, obviously, uh, no ceramics are gonna get, like, get past the Arctic Wind. But the Moabs, you know, they can because they won't get slowed down, but then they'll just hit the Moab Shredder things and immediately die and then go to Ceramics. So I think that would just works out super well. Um, good combo right there. 1-3 under a 2-3 village with the 3-2 Ice Tower. 
yeah, that's a good setup, right? Um, and then I always use the ninja ability. I almost used no ninjas this run, but I decided to use the ability because I played it safe, I guess. Um, what else is there? So, this map. Um, I wonder if it's easier on reverse or if it's easier on normal because on reverse, you know, there's only one exit. So that makes like what? You can maybe use a spike factory. You can maybe use glue gunners more efficiently. But, and the late game's probably easy because the Arctic Wind's near the back. But on non-reverse, um, then you got one entrance, so you can put everything towards there. So I have no idea. I mean, it's possible both ways. It could be easier depending on, you know, your, your play style, right? Do people have play styles in tower defense games? I don't think that so. They just have, what, like, favorite towers? Yeah, that doesn't really make too many sense. Too much sense. Oh, man. Um, you can see, oh, look at the slow-mo here. This is great. I remember how laggy this was. I have no idea why, honestly. It just got super laggy here, so have fun watching this for way too long. Even this is on four times speed. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. It was it was tough, and I'm saddened by my skill. See ya.